Well, hey, Vintage. Um, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Whatever your Thanksgiving ended up looking like, I hope you managed to take a few moments to be thankful to God for all that he's done um, this year. I, I wrote down some things that I'm just so grateful to uh, God for in the middle of 2020 and all of the craziness. I'm so grateful to God that actually we've, we've seen Vintage Pasadena birth and grow to over 200 people. I have uh, was written down that we've been able to launch seven different community groups this year, one of which that actually mentors new community group leaders, um, which is so fantastic. I uh, wrote down that we've, we've seen Alpha um, online happen for the first time and over 40 people from all different parts of the United States coming together to do that. I wrote down that we've seen people come to faith this year, we've seen people's lives transform, we've seen amazing answers to prayer and particularly through our prayer ministry happening online and in person on Sunday mornings. Um, I wrote down about our just fantastic VKids uh, team and uh, if you've not checked out the VKids online sessions, they are so good and they are so um, funny. So uh, even in the midst of all that we're facing, I'm just so grateful to God for, for what he's uh, done. But I know that you know this is a, a challenging time as well for, for many of us. Um, um, time of filming this on Monday, we're, we're waiting for new COVID restrictions to come in for California this week. Um, as it stands, we're, we're still uh, absolutely planning to have both online and in-person gathering options uh, this Sunday and for future Sundays, but please do keep um, abreast of all the different changes and things that are coming out from the state and from the city. We're trying really hard to do everything we can to be a blessing to you and to our uh, wider community, so please do just keep checking in on social media and for emails and updated news on all that's going to be happening. I um, also just wanted to, to mention two things. Um, you're going to get a, a little email from me later in the week, um, which is just to say thank you to you uh, primarily for all that you've done to partner with us in Vintage Pasadena this year. We're so grateful that you've been on this family journey to birth this church um, with us. In that letter, I'm going to ask you just to consider your year-end financial giving and also giving for next year as we come towards the end of 2020. Like very many churches, uh, we're quite dependent uh, on God's provision uh, for the year to come in in December. And so we have a little financial uh, giving challenge for the end of 2020. And also, um, as we face up to 2021, we're really going to ask you to partner with us in financial generosity. Uh, we've uh, this year seen a lot of people leave LA for personal reasons. Um, sadly, we've had people lose jobs and all sorts of different things have happened. And so we have a little financial challenge to meet in 2021. So we're asking you to just pray and ask God if he would uh, like you to be part of that story of generosity um, through the end of this year and into uh, next year. If you want to talk to me about that or just have any questions about finance and money and where it goes and what we do with money then please do of course just ask me about that um, also uh, just once as well just tell you that Christmas is not that far away now um, publicity is coming out this week for uh, not just Advent and we're doing this Hope is Alive series which is really uh, hope going to be great we're talking about hope is alive love is alive joy is alive peace is alive in 2020 and then on Christmas Eve two services 4 p.m family Christmas nativity candlelit service outdoor at Hamilton winter wonderland very COVID safe you can get it online or in person we'd just love you to pray about if you have neighbors particularly with kids who might want to come to that service um, we're going to invite Hamilton community, wider community around the school to come and join us for that. And then at six o'clock, sort of almost straight after, we're going to have a more traditional Christmas uh, carol service, uh, which I'm going to lead with Daniel. And again, just love you to think about who you might want to invite. We had such great stories at Easter of people inviting neighbors to watch online. So maybe you've got neighbors who might want to watch online on Christmas Eve or even come in person on Christmas Eve. We're going to be telling people about the good news of Jesus um, at Christmas. So um, have a great week praying that you, you stay safe, stay that you stay well, stay healthy. Um, and looking forward to connecting with you uh, later in the week.